so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and deep seek has dropped another bomb of a model that is deep seek v3.1 base and as usual there was no blog post there was no social media release just the weights were open source on hugging face and they let you to decide whether the model is good and the model is great so in this short video i will be exploring what are the key features of the new model let's get started it's quite massive 685 billion parameters as usual i think before that they were handling 671 so now they have increased the model size by 14 billion more it's mixture of experts again with 37 billion parameters activated at once so they are not coming up with smaller size models they are still building in that range only one model all jobs that's quite interesting so before that i think they were trying to make sure deep seek v3 was around basic lm generation while they, the r1 series was more towards reasoning but now it's a unified architecture it can reason it can chat it can code as well extended context window i think they are providing a context window of 128k pretty huge still less than what we get with Gemini 2.5 but still a decent one key innovation they have introduced multiple new ideas one is a multi-head latent attention for idea to idea focus multi-token prediction so not just one token multiple tokens can be predicted together and precision format floating point 8 b float 16 f32 etc performance and cost i think it is able to beat out Cloud Opus 4 on Ada benchmark, but it is 68 times cheaper as well. So that's where it is coming into picture. It's very cheap to use and hence uh, it might be a threat for the paid models. Future hints, I think they have also introduced new special tokens like search, begin, think, etc. Moving towards a fully hybrid inference. So I think a speculation is that the R2 or R3 series might never come into picture because they are not moving towards a unified model rather than separate models for reasoning and all. It's open source MIT license so you can use it for anything, commercial use, remixing, rehosting as well. So this is the summary, 685 billion parameters, hybrid MOE with MLA plus MTP, ADA benchmark is quite good, special tokens are present. Knowledge cutoff is July 2025. Training cost is around $5.6 million and context window is 128K. Now, how to use the model for free? The weights are open source, but it's quite huge. As you can see, they have not mentioned anything in the model card as usual. So, once you go to the file section, here are the model weights, and it's quite huge, not for a general practitioner. You need some great resources to run this huge model. But I think a great breakthrough, the model looks good and I think as the time passes, we will be getting more benchmarks for it. Thank you so much. I hope you try out the model if you get a chance.